We've been featuring planes like this on our channel for years now, but Top RC Hobby has their own lineup, and they're actually different. This will now be the third in the series. This is the FW190, and it's a pretty cool little paint scheme. I like it a lot. We have seen, I think, an E-Sheen FW190, or was that a BF109? I can't remember. But there has been a German Warbird from the World War II era of these many Warbirds on our channel before. The beautiful thing about these planes is they're very budget Friendly. It all started back with that Isheen P-51, and that little plane has taught so many people to fly despite its small size. They really do fly like big scale warbirds in the beginner mode. So my expectations are very high for this one to fly just as good as those. We have throttle control, elevator control, rudder control, and yes, aileron control. Back in the day, it just used to be the back end. And before that, it was throttle and rudder only. So it's really cool to see such amazing technology helping these little guys fly so well. It looks good. It's a great deal. It will be linked in the description box below. Let's fly. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I like it. So just like the others, and I forgot, you have to throttle up and throttle down to kind of bind it. It's a safety thing, so you can't just bump the throttle on the ground, and I think that's a great idea. This does have optional landing gear, comes with it. You can slap those on if you want to do uh, ground takeoff and a ground landing, you know, my, on the asphalt runway here, but uh, I think it looks so much better flying without those. I prefer to do a hand launch and a belly landing in the grass. This does include also four AA batteries in the transmitter when you get it. That's actually what I'm flying on, um, just for testing sake. But I highly recommend that you guys put in your own good, new alkaline batteries. These batteries feel lighter than air almost. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I wouldn't rely on these transmitter batteries that it comes with too awfully long, but that's actually this Top RC Hobby brand. It's just an old truck driving away. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's one of the only little micro Warbird brands that we've seen, and we've seen a handful of them that includes the batteries, the AA batteries too, and I think that's awesome. Talking about batteries, it comes with a USB charger and a LiPo battery. We can probably fairly easily get a 12 to 15 minute flight on this little airplane. You're probably noticing, I'm just flying in a figure eight pattern here because these fly really good in stabilized mode, but when you leave that stabilized mode, not so much. We'll do it later in the video, but this is where they shine. And this airplane is very Warbird colors. So, you know, if you struggle to see little airplanes, don't get this, it's camo, it's dark, it's gray. Even on a bright, pretty day like this, you're really just relying on a silhouette flight for the most part, but I can see that red stripe on the back near the tail of the airplane, that helps a lot. This is just a cool flyer. Look here, we're like low throttle. Ooh, elevator up to save me. <laughs> and we'll do a full throttle pass by here in just a second. Let's bring it in. We'll do try full throttle in this pass. Full throttle. When your electric plane has a prop that's slightly off balance, boy, it just sounds like a cool gas airplane. <laughs> and you're not hurting anything. You know, you could balance it and get more efficient flight, but guys, I've flown these little birds on unbalanced, busted this, busted that, bruh, about everything on these little airplanes with no issues. I mean, they're just, they're tough as nails. They're very cool. It comes with a spare prop. No one puts spare props uh, with their airplanes anymore these days. It's really cool to see that it actually comes with one. You gonna take it out of stabilizer? Yeah, let's take tonight? it out of stabilizer. It never, never does very well, but we'll do it. So it's out. We can try to roll it. Hey, okay, this is actually doing pretty good. I say that, it's very squirrely. Oh my gosh. Hold on, I'm off to the right. We're gonna try to do an, a loop out here. Feels good. I think I can actually fly this one. <laughs> I can't film this one. Yeah, okay, up to stabilize mode. Oh my gosh, mode. you almost That's all right. crashed. I almost ate it. But I'm telling you, they can fly out of stabilized mode. Paired with the cheaper transmitter though, uh, and just the squirreliness of a tiny airplane. It's very hard to make it look good out of stabilized mode. If you flew these and only these all the time, the you could probably- everywhere. Yeah, let's try one more time for like a roll here. 
I just, I can't see there. you when you go I, so I high. I a nice roll. I just go up there for safety's sake, but let's try it one more time, Abby, right here. Three, two, one. There, see, we can do it. It can be done. Now, these have a stunt button, but they're so finicky. I can only get them to work about half the time, but because that one rolled so well, let's see if we can get it. Can you keep it on this side? Sure, over here where I'm at now? Yeah. Yeah. So I was trying to do the stunt mode there. Let's try it again. Man, it was just near impossible. Like, just fly this way. I will. There, hold the button, give it the input. And whoa, did you see that? And that was wild. I'm on the ground. The prop, <laughs> prop snapped off. Let's see. I see your button. prop. Yeah. It's right, right. Where's my finger? There. <laughs> I did the stunt button and it did what it was supposed to do, but a lot of times when you do that, you press and hold and you perform the roll, it's still in stunt mode. So I tried to pull back and it tried to do a loop in, in its stunt button up here. And I was too low to the ground when it did that, so the prop popped off. But these props on these planes are designed to do that. So we should just be able to hopefully line that up. snap it back on yeah so my motor mount on that crash uh, when I'm trying to push the prop on it actually squished the motor back I in think that's there, the so. first time you've ever broken one of these yes it is <laughs> so you didn't break it yay I like working on airplanes I really do especially electric and foam I just feel so confident with it now uh, let's see if it flies <laughs> Yeah, not bad. Okay, so I think what happened was the motor actually got squished back into the foam uh, in the firewall or the, it's, it's just a foam wall back there where the motor's mounted to. And so uh, that was a pretty hard hit. But as I said, these things are nearly indestructible. I mean, it's amazing. I love, love, love them. And this Top RC Hobby brand that's linked in the description box below has not disappointed. They're supposed to have a few more coming out from what we've been told. Not sure if that's true. And when we made the first video of these, they're actually impossible to find. They released them to us saying, yeah, they're going to be ready like, you know, tomorrow. And then they weren't. And the video was out there for like months and no one could actually buy them. Unless you emailed them and said, hey, I'm interested when you're selling them. Can I have one? <laughs> like it was horrible. Now they're actually available. At least the last time we checked. So the first three that have been featured on our channel, this now being the third, should be available for purchase, linked in our description box below. This is an awesome airplane, Abby. We could fly it and fly it and fly it all day, uh, but just for the sake of everyone's attention, and maybe we want you to go watch another one of our videos, let's land this and see if we can get a fairly smooth landing. We're gonna land to our back left here in the grass. This is the only time I don't like flying above asphalt. We have to land kind of behind us, so. My approach will be funny, and we'll plop it down here, and we'll just do it. You missed, Whatever. and your prop flew off again. <laughs> well, there's a little gap in between what you guys just saw in this moment, because this stuff always just draws a crowd. People love it. They always have an experience, or someone they know with an experience. And so I encourage you guys, If I love that you watch our videos, but I would love to know even more that you fly. So many of you guys do cars and trucks or boats or drones and you've never flown a plane before or it's the other way around. I encourage you guys, set aside some of that cheeseburger money and uh, buy Nate yourself- Nate eats a lot of cheeseburgers, oh, yeah, just so yeah. you know. I, yeah, maybe more than I should. Uh, set aside some of your extra money, whatever you might spend it on and save up for a little $100 or $200 airplane and really open the doors to a new hobby. It's usually such nice people involved Everyone's so eager to help and learn and uh, that's why I love the hobby. It's really fun flying these planes But it's more about the people it really is. It's more about you guys watching. There's the radio Just wanted to show it to you nothing fancy, but it definitely gets the job done That guy he was a full-scale pilot the one I was just talking to and he just couldn't believe how Amazing this little thing flew. He said he'd have troubles flying it Well, I guarantee if I handed the controls to him and I'd be happy to he, did, he didn't want to he could easily fly it because of that stabilized mode 
basic knowledge of aviation, you can easily fly one of these, even with no knowledge of aviation. So if not for this, get something a little bit bigger that's easier to see, maybe like the Aero Scout. We'll link that maybe in the description box below if anyone asks about it. We have tons of videos on our channel. This is so tough though. I crashed it twice and I could still just chuck it and go fly it again. Now you guys saw me. I've flown at this point now 46% giant gas biplanes with smoke. Singular, not plural. Uh, and so, you know, I've flown a $100 thing and big giant gas thing that one battery in that plane costs more than this whole setup. So what I'm saying is everything in between, right? This to as big as it gets. And there's better, way better than what I bought, way more expensive than that big biplane. But my point is I even crashed this, what, twice? Mm -hmm. Really? So with that said, I would not fly anything from this to the big stuff without being insured. There's one and only one reputable, good, viable RC insurance company that's out there. That's the Academy of Model Aeronautics. We call them AMA. It's not just for planes, it's for cars, trucks, boats, all of that too, helicopters, everything, uh, drones too. But if you're gonna consider flying something, I highly recommend you pick up AMA because for cheaper than this setup, you can be insured for all your stuff, not just one airplane, for the entire year and get a magazine subscription. So you've got to fly with AMA, they'll be linked in the description box below and for today you guys look at this look this is this is what life is about it's the day it's taking a few minutes to go fly something sharing these experiences together but it's so much easier when you have a beautiful day like today uh, and for that i thank god thank god for this breath of fresh air that i'm breathing today and just the ability to be here and sharing this experience with you, I am grateful. While we're on the topic of thanks, I wanna also say a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters. You guys are the best. We have new patrons, old patrons, and everyone in between. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We'll have another one of these cool little Top RC Hobby planes popping up right about now. Thanks for watching, we'll see you there. Bye.